Hi, my name is Chris Webster, and I'm a NetBeans engineer and also one of the co-authors of the NetBeans field guide. Today I'd like to show you the NetBeans 6 SOA features, including the Bipple Designer and also the Composite App Editor. Thank you for watching and hope to see you on NetBeans.org. We'll start out first by creating a Bipple process. You can do this using the new file wizard. All you need to specify is the file name and click finish. As you can see, the toolbar for the Bipple editor gives you navigation controls around the canvas. You can control the scale as well as adjust the layout. Adding a partner link is as easy as dragging and dropping a WSDL file or a web service. Once you do this, you'll notice a dialog comes up which is pre-populated with most of the default data you'll need. In this case, all you need to do is to change the name of the partner link and click OK. You can also generate partner links by dragging and dropping a web service. In this case, we'll drag and drop an EJB-based web service and change the partner link name and then click OK to have the partner link generated for us. Bipple process logic is, is designed using the palette. All you need to do is drag and drop activities from the palette onto the canvas. We will start by dragging a receive activity which allows incoming operations to be bound to partner links. In this case, we'll select the partner link and create an input variable right from the dialog. Next, we'll add an invoke activity that will call an operation on our EJB partner web service. As you can see, the dialog comes up and you can pick a partner link and also add input and output variables with the defaults mostly filled in. Next, let's add a reply activity. A reply sends a message back to the client. All you need to do is pick a partner link and you can also create an output variable right from the dialog. Next, let's add an assign activity that allows us to configure the value of the variable that we will send to the EJB partner. The Bipple mapper configures the assignment statement. You can move values from one variable to another by simply drawing a connection line. In this case, assign the value of the Bipple input variable to the EJB input variable. We need one last assign activity that configures the value of the output variable returned to the client. Use the Bipple mapper to configure the assignment. In this case, assign the value of the EJB output variable to the Bipple output variable. Now the Bipple module is ready to be deployed. We will deploy it as part of a composite application. Let's create the composite application. Now we will launch the CASA editor. The CASA editor provides the ability to compose code into JBI deployable service assemblies. We can include the Bipple project by simply dragging and dropping onto the canvas. The WSDL ports and binding components can be configured after pressing the build button. We will expose the Bipple process using a SOAP binding. Connecting consumers and producers via the WSDL ports is done using drag and drop. Now we can deploy the composite application. This builds and deploys the Java Business Integration module to the JBI container which is running in Glassfish. Let's create and execute two test cases to verify our process works as expected. The first test case will be a approval. The second test case will be a rejection. You can create test cases that are similar to JUnit test cases. In this case, we define both an input and output XML. The input XML serves as the input message sent to the Bipple process. Now let's execute the test case. Initially, the output XML is empty. Therefore, the first run will populate the output XML with real output. Subsequent test runs will compare real output against the contents of output XML. Each test run evaluates to either pass or fail status. Now let's create a second test case. You can select from WSDL documents contained within your composite application. Once you select a WSDL document, you can pick from one of the operations within the port.
As the second test is executed, notice how output XML contains different results. In this video, we showed the Bipple orchestration and CASA editor features in NetBeans. Please go to netbeans.org to try it out.